Ironically, George and Evelyn first met in a place that was least appropriate for this kind of thing. Years later, the mere mention of this curious incident would cause the young people to have a fit of uncontrollable laughter. They react this way because the truth is that George and Evelyn didn't meet at a cozy cafe or nightclub, but rather at an animal shelter. That was a memorable day for both George. George and Evelyn, the owners of the shelter, organized an adoption day, which was aimed at finding new homes for the animals in their care. Many of the unfortunate animals were mistreated in the past and some of them were even thrown out on the streets by their former owners, thus having gone to the adoption day to look for a pet. Neither Evelyn nor George could even suspect how important this day would turn out for each one of them. However, the funniest part was that they both liked the same cat named Kitty and couldn't decide which one of them would adopt it. The truth is that both George and Evelyn liked the fluffy beauty, but George came to the shelter first and therefore had a better chance of success. However, seeing how upset Evelyn was, the man called her over and said, excuse me, but I don't feel comfortable being the reason for such a beautiful woman to be upset, so I give up. You can have Kitty. I'm sure she'll be very happy to get you as her owner. Needless to say, Evelyn was beyond happy and grateful. Before leaving, George said that if Evelyn didn't mind, he would like to visit the cat on occasion. Evelyn smiled sweetly and agreed to let George visit Kitty. To tell the truth, George wasn't really the kind of man who loved animals, so much that he actually visited a cat he didn't own or know. But visiting Kitty would give him an opportunity to see her pretty owner too. So the young people exchanged phone numbers and started texting and talking on the phone regularly. About a week later, George visited Kitty and her lovely owner for the first time, despite claiming to be visiting the cat. In addition to a weighty bag of cat food, the man also brought a huge bouquet of scarlet roses for Evelyn. Of course, George couldn't have known that the woman had spent several hours at the mirror preparing for his visit. Having given Evelyn the roses, the young man played with Kitty to his hard skin tent and then, plucking up his courage, asked her owner out to have dinner with him at the best restaurant in the city. The woman agreed almost immediately, as if she'd been waiting or hoping for him to make a move or ask her out. George and Evelyn spent a wonderful evening together, not yet realizing that it would mark the beginning of their romantic relationship. Joint chores and concerns for Kitty made George and Evelyn very close and before they knew it, they fell deeply in love with each other. At the very beginning of their relationship, the woman's parents were slightly distrustful of George, whom they considered an unsuitable match for their daughter. But when the couple proved the sincerity of their feelings for each other, Evelyn's parents accepted their daughter's choice. George was a young engineer, and his girlfriend was studying at the university. Therefore, when the young people decided to get married a year into their relationship, none of their friends or relatives were surprised. The newlyweds took their little family very seriously, and thus, their relationship was going well. Kitty held an important place in the life of George and Evelyn. She had quickly become a full-fledged member of the new family. The fluffy beauty had everything that her unfortunate shelter friends could dream of. She had delicious food, a cozy house, and even her own clothes. Kitty was very fortunate to have found such loving owners. A year after the wedding, Evelyn got pregnant. The couple decided to celebrate this joyful event by holding a party for all their friends and acquaintances. Evelyn's best friend Samantha was also invited. The woman fervently assured all the guests that she would certainly support her friend after she gave birth to her first child. The fact was that Samantha often moonlighted as a nanny, as she could actually be very helpful to a new mother. Thanks, sweetie, I'm very grateful, and I'd be happy to see you at my home, Evelyn said, who was very touched by her friend's promise of support. Everything was fine at first, and the newlyweds treated Samantha like a sister or a member of their small family. In addition to babysitting, Samantha also looked after Kitty when the couple went out of town or went camping. Moreover, Samantha even helped Evelyn clean the house and went grocery shopping with her. Samantha explained her eagerness to help by the fact that she didn't have a permanent job at the time or a boyfriend, so she had a lot of free time and was glad to help her friend out. Why should I just sit at home doing nothing? At least I can be useful here, the woman said, smiling sweetly. Evelyn was very glad to be getting so much attention and help from her friend, and after talking to her husband, 
She asked Samantha to be the godmother for the unborn child. Samantha was very flattered by the decision of the newlyweds. Unfortunately, when Evelyn was eight months pregnant, she started feeling unwell, so she had to stay at the hospital. Given her friend's situation, Samantha took over all the housework and caring for Evelyn's husband. Things were going well at first, but then George told Samantha that her help was no longer needed because his mother volunteered to help around the house. When Evelyn found out, she got mad at her husband for being so rude to her best friend. However, Evelyn's due date had come, so she no longer had time to sort out things with Samantha and her husband. The only thing that still upset the expectant mother was that George no longer wanted Samantha to be the godmother of their child. But when little Bobby was born, all the problems and concerns immediately faded into the background. The young parents devoted themselves entirely to raising the baby, and they made a great team. Time passed, and when their son grew up a bit, Evelyn started thinking about going back to work. She understood that it was hard for George to provide for their family on his own, especially since her husband hadn't taken a break in a very long time. Meanwhile, Evelyn insisted that it was her friend Samantha whom they should hire to be the boy's nanny. Perhaps George was against it, but he didn't have the heart to argue with his wife, so he chose to simply accept her decision. Samantha was happy to take the role of the poison eddy, especially since the child already knew her very well. The woman's eagerness to accept her friend's proposal was also partially due to the fact that she'd been unemployed for about six months, so she appreciated any opportunity to earn some money. It seemed that peace and quiet reigned at the young family home. But then one day, Kitty started being extremely aggressive towards Samantha. Meanwhile, the young nanny had repeatedly complained, claiming that Kitty had scratched her arms and legs. At first, George and Evelyn thought that their cat simply couldn't come to terms with all the changes that had been happening in their family. However, they also noticed that the boy started crying more and asking to be held by his parents, not Samantha, whom he previously enjoyed spending time with. The young parents thought it was rather strange and were very concerned over the situation. But when the couple found a bruise and a small scratch on little Bobby's body, their concern grew exponentially. When asked about it, Samantha assured the parents that it was Kitty who left the mark on Bobby's leg and that it was simply impossible to calm her down. Given Kitty's docile temper, Samantha's claim sounded very strange. George and Evelyn felt something was off, so they decided to play a little trick to learn the truth. Without letting Samantha in on their plans, the parents instill a surveillance camera in the boys' room. After all, neither George nor Evelyn believed that their beloved Kitty could have harmed their little son. However, they needed evidence in order to make definitive conclusions. Meanwhile, they told Samantha that they would ask their parents to take Kitty, and the cat's move was just a matter of time. But when Evelyn and George watched the footage from the camera, they couldn't hold back their bitter tears. The truth was that as soon as the parents left, Samantha went into the boy's bedroom and drove Kitty under the bed with the broom. It didn't seem like something all that weird. The young nanny wanted to protect herself and the little boy from the cat's attacks. But when the parents continued to watch the video, they saw something that made Evelyn cover her eyes with her hands in horror. That was because when little Bobby woke up and started crying, the young nanny began to scream at him and then even hit him on the arm. At that moment, Kitty jumped out from under the bed and hissing furiously, stood up for her little friend. The most impressive thing was that even the broom, which the nanny swung at the angry cat, did not help Samantha. Kitty continued to selflessly protect the child. When the parents calmed down a little and came to their senses after watching such a shocking video, they made the only right decision in this case. The next day, without saying a word to Samantha, they went to work as if nothing had happened and returned when the young nanny least expected them to and was once again waving the broom at Kitty. Moreover, Evelyn and George did not come alone, but with the police, who turned out to have many questions for the nanny who showed excessive cruelty not only towards the little boy, but also towards the cat. Before coming to their home, the law enforcement officers studied the video provided by the couple and decided to arrest Samantha. Thus, the selfless cat, named Kitty, helped bring to light the atrocious behavior of the nanny who's been pretending to be kind and nurturing all this time. Apparently, 
Samantha had her eye on George for a long time and was planning on destroying her friend's family. However, after the man let her down and told her that he wasn't going to leave his wife, the young nanny held a grudge against his entire family. And it was only thanks to the guardian angel, Kitty the Cat, that Evelyn and George were able to save their marriage. How could I have trusted Samantha all this time? Where were my eyes? Evelyn reproached herself. George only pulled his wife close to him and gently kissed her in response. And then the happy parents went over to the crib where their little son was sleeping peacefully and couldn't help but smile. Then curled up in a ball, late Kitty, always ready to protect her little friend. For the young couple, this meant only one thing now their baby had a real nanny who didn't just have a mustache and a fluffy tail, but also a big and loving heart.